up it's your girl beth or oh my god i miss you guys so much don't you miss me mm. so i've been absent for like is it like two weeks i'm so sorry i had exams and it was stressful so i had to take time off you know my youtube channel but i'm back again because we are on vacation so i'm back full time i am back so today from the title we are going to talk about my challenges as a renal patient and as a student okay how i manage the two okay first of all let's acknowledge the sunshine e see the way is making me look fine <laughs> that was just by the way so first of all my number one challenge is that you know as a renal patient okay sometimes you are going to be falling sick it's not always you are going to feel so healthy sometimes you are going to be falling some you know back body weakness and all so when that comes up okay i'm unable to attend lectures like i can't go to lectures i have to rest i have to sleep i have to do something to take care of my health first you know health first before any other thing because my mother will always, always say that if you're not strong how do you learn so yeah so health first and this is a big challenge to me because i, I i'm the type of student that okay learns better understands better with the lecture students communication as in you know when the lecture is teaching that is where i get my understanding better i get it better than you know learning it on my own i don't know if you get what i'm saying like learning it on my own so when i'm unable to attend lectures because i'm not feeling well or something it affects me like academically i find it difficult to catch up you get it yes again because of my catheter okay when it's raining or it's drizzling i have to miss lectures because as you know from my previous videos i told you that um the catheter is prone to infections and water is not supposed to get to it, okay so if it's raining or it's drizzling it means i have to be indoors because if water gets to it I'm going to get an infection so because of that too i miss lectures again hmm. another thing is another challenge is that um you see i have my sessions on wednesdays and sundays and in my school we do exams on weekends as well not only on weekdays we do exams on weekends as well so and our ias which is the interim assessment and so if maybe my session day that is a wednesday and sunday and then i have an exam or an ia let me say the ia i would have to write letters to the various hod's my department and also the, the lecturer in charge of the course i mean the course instructor i have to write letters to them explaining to them why i can't partake in the test on that day and plead for exceptions you know all the prof we have to write each other it's not easy <laughs> yes and they are okay for the eyes they are able to make exceptions for me you get it but when it comes to the general examination like the gen it's like a general thing a school thing so they hardly are unable like they are unable to make exceptions for me like I should write it a different day when everybody's right you know for the exam is quite difficult so for that one I talked to my nurses at the hospital explained to them that oh I have exam on this day which is my session day and so I can't make it at this time so make exceptions for me maybe I would have to go in the evening and you know how dangerous that is because if I go in the evening I mostly I finish at dawn and coming back i mean even going to the hospital alone from school to the hospital and coming back alone 
it's quite dangerous okay i'm putting my life at risk but also i'm saving my life by going to the hospital i'm surviving on that so that is quite also a challenge for me like it's a big big challenge like you get it and I, I should have even started with this like being a student and being a renal patient my idea is very stressful see sometimes say i get hypertension by force because you'd have to bend the midnight candle you have to be learning because i'm trying to keep up to my dreams okay i don't want this dialysis thing to you know stop me from like you know achieving my dream from going to school so I try to manage which is like very stressed sometimes i get like tired like honestly sometimes i feel like in my brain like i'm tired but i force like because i put my mind to it that this is what i want to do so i force to do it even when i'm not feeling well and you know there was this let me tell you this you guys let me tell you this hmm. just this examination okay I had a paper one Wednesday, which was my session day. But I'd already called the hospital to, you know, tell them about the time and everything. And this morning I had a paper, but I done. I was feeling very breathless, like so I couldn't even sleep. Done around like 2 a.m. and I had my paper 7:30 a.m. So I don't. I woke up like feeling very breathless i couldn't sleep that whole night i felt like hey am i like will i be able to write my paper i was just thinking like can i do this can i do this and i just i just prayed see everything puts god first with god all things are possible i just prayed in my head out oh, god please give me the strength i need to go and write this paper so i was lying down till it was like 7 a.m and then i finally got up took a taxi to my examination hall and i went and because i was feeling breathless okay and you guys know what we are facing right now the pandemic like the covid 19 so you're supposed to put on your nose mask and this is the case where i'm feeling breathless how do i put on my nose mask so i took it off okay and this invigilator walked up to me he was like lady put on your nose mask and it was so obvious like it was written all over my face that i was suffering from something like i was like very sick he said put on your nose mask and i said i'm feeling breathless that is why i have taken off my nose mask he said no i should put it on because it's a protocol everybody ought to put it on and i said i'm feeling breathless if i put it on i'm going to suffer he said no 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 no, no. hey and i said please i'm a renal patient and so it's possible for me to experience this this man said mm -mm, that be that he won't understand and that's what proof do i have that i'm a renal patient and i said i didn't bring any medical report to the exam center he said if i'm not able to provide any proof then he's going to sack me sack me after everything i'm going through i managed to get up from my bed come to the examination center just to finish this paper and mind you this was my last paper just to finish this paper and you're going to sack me because i don't have any proof and i just sat there and was like lady what are you waiting for so immediately i have i was wearing this long sleeve okay and then i just pushed it up and showed him all my scars and just like that he was quiet like he he was just quiet he didn't say anything he didn't utter a word and he just left me i was like wow wow so this man was actually going to suffer but me i would have left though ha oh my already i was suffering and you're coming to stress me and you know if i reported him he would have been in trouble but I'm not saying this to tarnish anybody's image or anything, but this is like, I was, I don't know, but I felt sad, like very sad that I'm actually forcing to make it in life and I would have to go through some of these challenges. I don't know, but I, just as once I was like really sad, like, 
but you know your girl did it by the grace of god i did it your girl did it yes and by the grace of god my papers were okay they were fine god help me i finished peacefully but there was one simple lesson okay that i learned from that small incident okay that whatever happens don't give up i mean don't just i almost give up by not writing my exams you get it but don't give up there are going to be a lot of challenges that will come in your life a lot of you know just don't give up set the goal and then just work towards it so you guys we are at the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe subscribe i beg you subscribe we'll meet again in the next video for now it's bye